Hi there, this is Andrew Paul Smith with day 48 of my 100 inspirational videos in 100 days. I'm going to call today's talk Emergence, and if I've already got a video called Emergence, I'll just have to think of something else to call it. Maybe Emergence 2, <laughs> or Emergence as well. So today, uh, it's quite early in the morning, it's 5 to 8, and maybe that's why the lighting is slightly better. Mm, not not quite sure about that. Um, but these past few days, I do feel different. And I've felt different before, um, but I'm now thinking in terms of how I am going to make the breakthrough that I have thought about for about six to eight years. I keep talking about six to eight years, don't I? Um, maybe it takes that long for some caterpillars to turn into butterflies. Um, always having this feeling of, of all, always emerging. Now, it could be always emerging, uh, the title. Um, always emerging, but never actually arriving. I don't know if you feel like that about your life. That you can see where you want to be. But the route to get there isn't too clear. And I know I've said in the past that all you need to see on a foggy day is the next 100 yards in front of you and you can drive right across the country. Um, but sometimes we need to have a little bit more detail than that in our plans for life. Uh, I think it's the difference is that my world view is changing. And that's why I call this video Emergence. Um, not Emergency. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't get that far. Um, but Emergence, because as you see, uh, I think it's Wayne Dyer, isn't it, who says, as you uh, change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And I have quoted that many times before, but... I actually feel like I'm in the middle of seeing, of, of the way I see things changing. Uh, yesterday I did a, a video, uh, video 47, all about my attitude towards money, where it came from, uh, and I did an article about it as well um, on apsmithonline.com. Um, but uh, when, when I'm looking at my own life, the way that it's been, and the results that I've got, if, you, if, you, if you're fair, if you're honest, if you're open with yourself, not with anybody else, um, then you will see that whatever your worldview is, whatever the, the way that you've seen the world, that's the way your world has been for you. And the only way it's ever going to change is when you change the way you see it. So I'm changing my thoughts around money. I have been on and off for years, but... Yesterday it was very poignant the, uh, what the scriptures were saying, that it really is a blessing from God and it is something that you've got to work hard for and it's something that you need and I need and we all need to, uh, to desire to create wealth um, for ourselves and for our families and for the wider world. That's our, our mission here. Our mission here isn't to sit there uh, and contemplate our navels and be spiritual um, all the time, Andrew. <laughs> I, I, I have done that and I will do it, you know, but it's not the, <coughs> the sole point of being here. My dad used to say, I keep quoting him, don't I? All things in moderation, lad, all things in moderation. So do you, your um, meditation uh, and do your prayers and do your... Um, research into the esoteric and the spiritual but have your feet on the ground as well uh, so, somebody said once about me you're so heavenly minded Andrew you're no earthly use <laughs> um, but yeah um, I think that I, I'm not going to get into conspiracy theories but I will say this <laughs> says he getting into a conspiracy theory <laughs> that. I believe that it makes sense for those in power to let us know that there's nothing really much we can do about where we're at in society. Uh, if we're at a particular level, 
um, the underclass. If we haven't got a job, then we're scroungers and we've got to play our role as a scrounger. And there's nothing you can do about it, so you might as well accept your lot in life. Um, if you've grown up on the wrong side of the tracks and you find yourself in prison, that's the kind of person you are. You're a prisoner. You're somebody who needs locking up. Uh, if you're in um, a white-collar job, then uh, no, let's try a blue-collar job. If you're in a blue-collar job, then you work and you earn your money by, uh, by using your hands. If you're a white-collar job employee, then you uh, do that with your head. Um, you, you work in an office, and that's your lot in life, and you get paid a piddling amount of money. Uh, not really enough, not a living wage. In the case of 13 million people in the UK, below the poverty line in the fourth largest economy on planet Earth, 13 million, that's nearly a quarter, it's certainly over 20% of the UK population live in poverty, um, according to the statistics. And one million people in the UK go to food banks because they haven't got the wherewithal to pay for food. This is the UK, the fourth largest economy. But if that's where you are, there's nothing you can do about it. I'm, uh, and yeah, if you're rich, you're going to stay rich all your life, and uh, as long as you keep uh, uh, keep your uh, keep your eye on your bank accounts, you will never uh, be without, and you'll get more. And uh, this is the worldview that is presented by the media. Uh, and uh, the politicians, they, they support it. They, they, the status, they call it the status quo. I say to hell with the status quo. I say that all of us have a great ability to rise above our circumstances, whatever circumstances we're in. And if you are going to be listening to me as I make my make my way to the middle and to the end of my first 100 inspirational videos in 100 days uh, and you continue to watch because <clears throat> I'm going to carry on recording these videos um, if you keep watching me then this is the worldview that you're going to hear um, from me that you are a, a divine being clothed in humanity and you are here to do whatever you want to do you are here to express yourself as an individual. You are here to be the emerging butterfly at all times. What more can you do? What more are you capable of? Don't fit into somebody's box that they've labeled you with. You are much, much bigger than that. You, you, you're, the, you're the most beautiful, amazing um, life force that ever existed. We all are. Uh, and nobody, but nobody, no bully, no corporate entity, no government, no uh, media mogul can tell you to be something that you're not. You are beautiful. You are uh, divine. You are um, able to create and to be whoever you want to be. And if you want to create wealth, oh yeah, that's that's one of the things that I, I do go along uh, with some of these uh, conspiracy theories. There's a conspiracy. Uh, that there is a limited amount of whatever. But if we are the center of our own universe, and we are, we create everything. We create the worldview and then everything that uh, relates to that worldview. We create everything in our lives. And the more we create, the more there is. The less we create, the more power those who have realized what I'm saying have over us. So, emergence. Two, <laughs> going to a cinema near you. This is Andrew Paul Smith of www.apsmithonline.com. Info at andrewpaulsmithonline.com is uh, where you go uh, to, to send me an email. And um, say so again, apsmithonline.com is where all the videos and the articles all the goodies are, are stored for you to go and have a look at. So uh, I will say namaste, God bless you, love and light to you. And don't forget, you are not a grubby little caterpillar. You're just about to emerge into a beautiful butterfly. All right. <laughs> See you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.